Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we're going to be doing my December budget. And so this is going to go through the month because my second payday is getting ready to come up. Fix this for you. So yeah, like I said, my next paycheck will be on the 19th. And I just realized on the last video I placed my paydays on the wrong day. Placed them on Friday and they are actually on Thursday. Let's make it a little decorative this time. Need some Christmas colors. This is December. All right. I'm going to put up here. December 19 budget. So of course we're going to start with my tides. I'm just going to do this for the whole month. And I pay three fifty. Then we have utilities, which were 105 or one, and I'm gonna put a check by because it's already been paid for the month. My internet is 5328, and it has already been paid as well. Hulu, 599. It is pending right now to come out of my account. My stars, which is eight ninety nine, it has been paid as well. Student loans will come out on the seventeenth, and they will be three thirty six sixty eight. So they haven't came out of my account yet, so I won't mark them as paid. Car loan, which is two ninety five seventy six has been paid a cell phone which is 46 38 has been paid as well so those are my expenses for the month so I'm gonna total that up over here And I forgot to add my rent on here, so let me add that in too. Although it's already been paid as well. So my total expenses are $2,239.09. All right, so then for groceries, my budget is $80 a week, which is $160. And for gas, my budget $90. So $45 a week. Oh, I guess I need to change that for the month since I'm doing everything for the month this time. So monthly is $320. And $180 for gas for the month. So that brings my total to two seven three nine oh nine. And then um cash envelopes. I don't want to take cash out for Trey has a few basketball games. 
next week. He's already had a few this month, but he has, I want to say, two next week, and it's $5 for each game. So I know I'm going to need cash for that, you know, at least $10, and then plus he'll always want something. So I'm going to take out um, $40 for his games. Well, I'm going to say 30 Let's take 40 And me, I had originally budgeted $100 for my birthday, which is coming up. So I'll put fun money. So I'm going to do 140 and That's including my birthday and then just for me. And then, um, probably I'm not going to wash my car this month. It's cold out. <laughs> I don't feel like it. It's raining now. So I'm just going to leave that off for the rest of this month. I'll start back up in January, maybe. Um, what else do I usually take out cash for? Beauty, I said I was going to start taking out cash for that. And I'm going to say... So I don't really need anything. I just bought some conditioner. But I'm going to budget $30 for that. Let's see what else I usually do. Eating out and car maintenance. Which I got all my car stuff done. My tags and everything. I've been adulting this month. Oh, household supplies. Yeah, I do that. Household. And so yeah, I'm gonna do 25 for that. And I'm just gonna put tray down here because I'm gonna try not to eat out for the rest of the month. I've done enough. Um and then included my birthday. But I know sometimes I may want I can cook something at home, but Trey might want something else. It's probably easier to get something quick for him, especially on the days he has games. So I'm just gonna budget twenty dollars for him to get, you know, something when he even that times when he's not with me, my sister may pick him up for, from a game or something. So that way he can get him something to eat or buy him something from the concession stand. So let's just see how much I'll be taking out in cash. And if you're new to my channel, um, I already budgeted for Christmas. I have my Christmas funds already fully um, well, my Christmas budget already fully funded. I think I had like $1,050 in my savings account for Christmas, and that will be plenty to cover everyone for, um, cover everyone's gifts for the holidays. So, this is going to be $245. I'm going to take out in cash. And I think that it's that is everything for the month. Oh, I forgot to put my American Express bill up there. Dang it. I'm gonna have to change this total in in May. It was a hundred and I can't remember the exact amount, but we'll still go with 130. So I'm gonna have to change my amounts by thirty dollars. But I'll just put I think I'll just put a total down here. So it will be Two seven three nine plus the one thirty plus the two forty five. All right, so that is all. This is included. Okay, sorry about that, guys. My camera battery died on me. So the last thing I was saying was this was my total. Um, of everything, my cash envelopes, my expenses for the month totaled out to $3,114.09. Straighten this up. So, that should that covers everything um, for the month of December. The most, the majority of these bills have, well, they were paid with my first paycheck and my paycheck I received from my second job with my little part-time job with Target and I also got also received a bonus check this month and I also received a check for selling back my vacation time that I didn't use for the year because it'll 
start over at the beginning of the year so i was like might as well and get a little bit of extra cash to pay towards my debt so that's why i was able to put a little bit more in my cash envelopes this month especially for my birthday so that's where the extra came from because i usually do not have this much coming out i don't think yeah no so also i had stated that um if you remember from my previous video, I had stated that I wanted to pay thirteen hundred. If y'all can see that, yes, thirteen hundred towards my student loans for the month, and I can say that I have already paid a total of one thousand five hundred and sixty-five dollars towards my student loans for the month of December. So that is awesome. I exceeded how much I wanted to put towards it. I also received a paycheck from a previous job I had that I'm, I'm no longer at. So it was a small paycheck of around $75. And I went ahead and put that, um, I added $5 and I went ahead and paid another $80 towards um, my student loans. But that's included in this $1,565. And I also, since I'm going to get paid again on the 19th, this is wrong. I put it on Friday instead of Thursday. But I will begin paid again on Thursday the 19th. And then again on November, not November, sorry, January the 2nd. So I'll be able to use that for the beginning of the month bills that are due. Like my rent and um, STARS payments for that subscription. So, yeah, because they're both due around the first or the second. Since the first will be a holiday, I don't think they'll take it out until the second. But I still have $6 in my account to cover stars. I'll just pay my rent on the second. So, yes. So, since I'll get paid again then on the second of January, I'm going to use some of my paycheck from the 19th to pay the rest of my student loan. Um, the smallest one should be able to pay it off. Um, if I pay, I have another, um, with the balance in my account, because like I said, I, I got an extra paycheck. I received an extra paycheck from a previous job and I got a bonus. Um, so I had, I have extra in my account. I can't remember. I think my balance right now is around, oh yeah, I wrote it down. It's around $1,200. And so... I am planning to use 350 of that toward, uh, to make an extra payment towards my student loan. Now, why I'm not using more than that is because some of that is budgeted for Christmas. And then, let me see what else. Yeah, I think that's about it. Just the other half is Christmas. And then I'm going to um, allocate 350 towards my student loans. And the rest I will pay with the paycheck from the 19th. And it will pay off my smallest student loan, which, as you can see, was at $2,481.79. Right now, the balance is just under $1,000 at $999. But with the $80 that's still pending to be put towards it, I just did that payment today. I'm going to show you all, all the payments I made for this month. Right now, I'm going to insert um, a screenshot of each of those payments. So yeah, so it's right. My payment, my student loan is right at $999. Um, after that $80, it'll bring it down a little bit more to right at around $900, a little bit over $900. And then I should be able to pay it off. I must, I'm going to budget that that is going to be around $575 left to pay after I pay the $350, um, you know, with interest and everything. So that is what um, I'm going to budget for. I'm going to put five. 75 right here uh, That is what I can put it on here too Payment 575 And that should pay it off so I will let you guys know how that goes um 
So I'll give you that update when I do my January budget or no, I do. I do a recap of December because I think. Um, so, yeah, I do a recap of December and let you know what my balance is as far as my student loans. If I was able to pay it off, if I wasn't, I'm hoping nothing else pops up because um, I did have a doctor's bill from some lab work I had done that came through this month. And I wasn't sure how much it was going to be, so I didn't really budget for it. But I just left a cushion there for it because they said it would be around maybe like $150. But my insurance covered most of it, but I I was um, responsible for about $51. So that did come out of my account as well. So, but that should be all. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I feel like I kind of rushed through it. And if I did, I'm sorry. Um, I knew my battery was about to die. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and I hope your December is going well. Hope everyone is in the holiday spirit and has gotten all their shopping done. I still have a little bit left to do. Um, just a few more people to buy for and then I will be done. So I got a little late start, but I did get it done. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, don't forget to click the subscribe button along my debt-free journey. Until next time, guys. Bye.